Had a few hits, a few RBIs for those that were keeping track in their uh, in their books, keeping score. Let's give a nice round of applause for our friend James Loney. Sorry I could get the third hit. He was throwing a hundred, but I was trying to, trying to just touch it a little bit. So, hope you guys are having fun, had a good day. Um, you know, glad to be here. Glad to see you guys. Louder? You good? Come on. Louder. You guys can't read lips back there? <laughs> now I'm from Houston, Texas. Uh, I'll tell you a little background. Grew up playing baseball my whole life, a little basketball. Um, parents, you know, they didn't uh, they were there for me. They were just like, hey, whatever you do, just work as hard as you can and just uh, be happy with what you're doing. So we had a park by my house. We would go around, pick up the balls, just go around, play catch, roll around in the dirt all day. My mom was the one actually throwing me batting practice until I hit one off her leg. And uh, she actually quit. So uh, <laughs> my dad took over from there. And then I uh, went on to high school at, uh, in Texas. We actually won a national championship. Uh, we were ranked number one in the country. And, uh, Definitely, uh, I used to pitch back in the day. Some of you guys know about that. It's a real baseball fan. So, uh, maybe I told Joe I want to get out there on the mound one day. So, hopefully, he'll bring me in. Uh, I got drafted out of high school, uh, signed in 2002, and went on playing the minor leagues for about four years. And uh, I've been playing here since 2006. So, definitely fun to play here and definitely uh, blessed to be here. So, I just want to talk about anything else. If y'all got some questions, that way. Uh, questions already. James, why don't you share with the group, if you can, what do you think it took, in a nutshell, without going into everything, what did it take to get here to be playing in Dodger Stadium, fulfilling your dream as a Major League Baseball player? It took a lot of confidence, a lot of perseverance, I've been injured a few times, um, just a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of failure in this game, um, especially as a hitter, I mean, if you hit you know, three hits out of ten at-bats. You, know, you can be a Hall of Famer, but you're failing 70% of the time. So you know, there's no other sport like that where you can actually fail most of the time and you know, be thought of as a successful athlete. So um, just knowing that and knowing that uh, you know, you're going to have more bad days than good days, knowing how to deal with them and trying to learn from all the mistakes. So I think that's the main thing, trying to learn from the mistakes and uh, stay consistent. Talking about kids that go through adversity, go through challenges, and have to sacrifice to get to the level where you're at, and I know you had to go through a lot of challenges. I also know you're involved with RBI, Reviving Baseball in the Inner City. What can you tell the group about your involvement with that group? Yeah, my involvement, uh, bringing some kids out from all over. Sometimes it's softball, high school girls. Sometimes it's boys from uh, you know, maybe like 12 and under league. Uh, they get the good seats and just you know eat and drink uh, for free. Drink uh, regular, not alcohol. Sorry. <laughs> I bring them out here and they uh, have a good time. They're usually cheering pretty loud and uh, you know, they get some shirts. I actually played in the RBI in 99. Uh, 99. Yeah, I played went to Disney World. It's a good experience. I think I was like 16 or something like that. And, um, we actually came in second place to Puerto Rico, but it was definitely a great experience getting involved in that program. So any of you guys are involved in it, you know, I'd continue with it. Um, but it was definitely a fun experience, and now it's fun getting to see the kids that uh, are still involved with it. So. James, we know, we know you love the Lord. We know you have a faith. How is it, knowing that you're standing for something on a platform like this, how does your faith come into your career as a baseball player? I think my parents kind of instilled it early on. I mean, when you're a kid, or even, you know, some people, uh, you know, in their 20s, 30s, or whatever, you don't really know why. Sometimes you're going to church, and I was kind of like that. I was just going to go, you know, not really, uh, that was my kind of wandering off time. I would think about other stuff a lot of times. But, um, you know, I think, you know, as you mature and get older, you try to find out why you're going. So, uh, you know, I'm still dealing with that. I'm still doing that, trying to uh, learn more. But, um, you know, I think, uh, for, for me, at, at one point, it was kind of like, you know, you see all the bad things going on in the world, you see all the consequences, so I was definitely trying to, trying to stay out of that. What's something that you try to use to, to keep you strong as you guys are traveling all over the country, 
uh, playing in all these games, being in different cities, is there something you, you turn to or a, a, a source of strength when you're dealing with being tired, being hurt, doing so much traveling? Is there something that consistently keeps you focused? I think it's two things baseball-wise. You know, I think uh, you always got to know somebody's, you know, out there trying to take your spot. If it's baseball, if it's, you know, your lawyer, doctor, whatever, whatever profession you're in, you know, somebody wants to be in your place. You know, everybody here, uh, you got to realize somebody out there has got it worse than you, no matter, you know, no matter what you're doing or how you're going. So I think I try to realize that. I know uh, there's bigger problems. And, uh, you know, from the from God's perspective, I just, you know, try to read a little bit every night, whether it's two minutes or ten minutes, just something to, uh, you know, kind of go to sleep on. So. That's great. James, last question. What, what can you offer as a source of encouragement, maybe even a challenge? Uh, for some of these young people from some of these huddles, even some people that maybe aren't involved in FCA, what can you give them to encourage them as they go forward, as they deal with challenges, and just to help them achieve their goals, their dreams, and to fulfill the destiny that God has for them? Uh, I think a lot of people, you know, they're like, well, you can't see God, and you don't know if he's there, and uh, you know, things are going bad in your life at a certain time, and you know, it's hard. I mean, it's easy to kind of not believe and kind of just, you know, do your own thing. But, I mean, it's tough, you know. Um, you know, I, like I said, I, 99, when I said 99, I can't believe it's that far, you know, that long ago. So just take advantage of all the opportunities that you have. Take advantage, uh, you know, time goes by fast. So definitely, uh, you know, try to use every resource you have. And uh, but just believe that, you know, whatever you're trying to do, that you can do it. So. That's great. Everyone, please give a round of applause for James Loney. Thank you, James. And as Josh.